and then it also has your other monitor that you can tuck up and into the roof. The one thing I really wish you could experience through this is the smell of this cab and the leather. Like it smells so good and also the quality of everything within this cab. Welcome back everyone to the video. I'm Austin and I work at Full Line Ag, a farm equipment dealership located in the beautiful province of Saskatchewan. And today we are at our Swift Current location. I jumped in my truck early in the morning on Sunday here and took off because there's a tractor that showed up and wasn't gonna be here for long. It's going out to the customer's place and I knew it wasn't going to be around for long and I wanted to get a good look at it, get some video and be able to show you all because it's the nicest tractor I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm not, not exaggerating one bit. And here it is. It is the Fent 724 Gen 6. So this thing is brand new, 2021. It just showed up two days ago now. But before we dive completely into this 724 and go through the cab and everything, let's take a walk around this giant shop and show you kind of what else we got. So right here, we have a Fent 933. Uh, this is a 2017 and it's in here getting ready to get cleaned up a little bit before it goes out for sale. And we also got quite a few Rogators in here. So we have a Rogator 1300C, we have another Rogator 1300C, this one with the aluminum Millennium booms on it, the 132 foot. And then we also have a Rogator 1300B and another Rogator 1300B. So both of these ones are sold, they're just getting ready to go out. Um, for spring and get ready for spraying and I believe one if not both of these are sold too. They'll be just getting their pre-delivery inspections, uh, getting all the necessary work done to get them ready to go out to the field. And then from one of my other videos you might recognize this bad boy. This is the Fent 824 with the row crop tires on it. So this actually ended up selling to a customer and he wanted to keep the row crop tires on it. So he is putting a mulcher on the back and he said with the row crop tires it works actually a lot better with his mulcher. So uh, he was looking for a tractor with row crop tires and we had one which is kind of odd in Saskatchewan. You don't really have that too often but it worked out and this thing's also getting ready to be sent out to the customer. So lots of work in here that has to get wrapped up uh, in order to send the equipment to all the customers. But if we take a good look around, this shop is absolutely ginormous. So we got, what is that? Four sprayers in here, an ideal combine, a versatile sprayer, uh, two, three Fent tractors, a big four-wheel drive versatile and lots of room to spare like like there is tons of room in here tons of room to work and get around so I would like to see this completely filled up with not much workspace because it would be something really cool to see that many piece of equipment inside but now walking by these Rogators up to this 724 because let's take a look at this cab so the outsides of these Gen 6 700 series are pretty much identical to the S4 series. Uh, the only difference is mainly in the cab and that difference, well, So this tractor 
was actually bought by the customer and he ordered it all to what he wanted and he got it optioned up with everything. If we go and just turn the key on. So this tractor has every single option. It has the leather steering wheel. It has the door on the side. It has the regular door of course. And then it also has your other monitor that you can tuck up and into the roof. It has got everything. The heated back window, the heated and cooled leather seat in the 700 series, like this thing is absolutely gorgeous. So this cab here is a lot different than the S4 series of Fent cabs. Uh, it is currently only in the 700 series Gen 6. It has this cab. The other Gen 6 um, tractor such as the Fent 900 series Gen 6 it does not have this cab. This Fent 1 cab for now is only in the 700 series but I cannot wait for it to go into every other tractor because <laughs> there is nothing like this. There is truly nothing like this. So if we look in this cab it's similar to the last generation of cab as in every button is color coordinated as orange is engine transmission white is kind of your electronics as well as it is programmable buttons blue is your hydraulics and yellow is your PTO and that is pretty much it your hydraulics can all be customizable it is <laughs> it is something else if you go into the monitor it's similar how you can adjust the quadrant layouts it there is so so much stuff you can do I don't even know very much about these yet because as I said this tractor just came in but once this one goes out to the customers I'm sure you'll be seeing more content online about it um, that'll maybe give you an idea who's whose tractor this is but we should be getting some more of these in stock for stock units, so I'll be able to dive in more, get some more video about these, but I figured I would come out here and show you a quick little bit about this. So my favorite part about this cab, other than the beautiful touch screen and all the beautiful accessories, is how user friendly it is. How it fits in your hand, how your buttons are all just right on your thumb, uh, right at the ease of access of your thumb. It is all just so simple and so thought of for the customer and the end user. Like it, every little thing is just, has been thought of in this tractor. The one thing I really wish you could experience through this is the smell of this cab and the leather like it smells so good and also the quality of everything within this cab if you guys want to see a more in-depth and more detailed video of this cab and kind of what it all is I will leave a link up here or here one of the sides to full line eggs YouTube video that I made on this tractor it'll give you a little more in-depth look and I highly recommend you guys checking it out but this tractor is loaded up with everything it, it has on the outside it has your front three-point has your front PTO it has a bucket and grapple it was actually taken off of the tractor because when these fent tractors get shipped they get shipped in a, a waxy coating just to make sure that there's no rust or no contaminants get in and touch that paint so that's why it's all wet here and the buckets off because you have to spray a chemical on it rub it down and then wash it off and then you're actually able to see that beautiful beautiful fent green 
And now for some comparison in case you forget what the, the older cab looks like, well not the older cab, the cab in every other one of the Fent tractors looks like, I will jump into this 930 and show you. So here is the Fent tractor cab that you all have come to know and love. It is a beautiful cab, tons of light, tons of room, and very simple and user friendly. It has such a nice feel, this cab. Everything is very easy, very simple, all color coordinated. I love this cab. I have nothing bad to say about this cab. This cab is absolutely great. But that Fent 1 cab in that new Gen 6 <laughs> kind of takes it. But then you jump into this cab and <laughs> it is just beautiful. I honestly, I do not know what else to say. It is a piece of art. Little part of me kind of cringes when I know that these are going to be workhorses, they're going to be used, they're going to be abused, and they're going to get all dirty and everything, but it's a tractor, it's just these are, this is so nice. I, I really recommend if you can get out and get yourself in one of these cabs and just see it because ugh, I'm speechless. So now that this tractor has been washed twice, all that wax is taken off of it. It will get washed one more time tomorrow. It'll get cleaned up just a little bit more um, after the last of the mechanics go through it and complete the PDI on it. And then it'll be getting delivered to the customer's place and be getting put right to work. So it will be a good tractor and it'll treat them well. And I'm glad I was able to drive out here for the day and get a look at it firsthand. That was my first one that I've ever seen in person. I've sat in simulators and all that stuff but seeing it in person oh it is truly incredible so that is going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to check out full line ag's video on it you will learn a lot more about that um, and yeah thank you for watching hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video